All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So Aaron Rodgers just wrapped up his uh, last episode of the McAfee Show here. And in this one, I wanted to really just hit on some of the main takeaways. Now, admittedly, there wasn't a lot of, like, there wasn't a ton of football talk. A lot of talk, a lot of focus on the darkness retreat and everything like that. But uh, at the start of it, he did say, you know, that Ian Rappaport and Adam Schefter, two of the best uh, insiders in the business, don't really know him. They don't talk to anybody in his inner circle. So the report that came out, I believe it was last week, about Rodgers entering the darkness on Monday, the day after the Super Bowl, was false. Uh, he also alluded to the other rumor that he wants to play for the Vegas Raiders, also false. Um, essentially, what basically what Rodgers was saying he doesn't know where he's going. He he still does not have his mind made up. The reason why he's going into the darkest retreat is not to figure out, like the, the whole goal behind it isn't to figure out what he's going to do with his football career moving forward. Um, it's just something that he's interested in doing, you know, on his own time after the season. So um, I don't want to say he called out Schefter, uh, Schefter and Rappaport here, but in a sense, he kind of did, um, you know, moving forward. It seems like any information, any sort of update, we're going to either get it from Rogers himself or like an announce, like a major announcement, like we, like, you know, we got last year when, uh, when, then when, when Schefter broke the news about Green Bay signing Rogers to the three year extension. Okay. So I don't think there's going to be a ton of like rumors and speculation. Oh, he wants to play with the Jets. He wants to play with the Raiders. Nothing like that because, again, at the end of the day, he doesn't know what he wants to do. So that's first, you know, that's first and foremost here. Now, in regards to the darkness retreat here, I think this is Aaron, right? Over the past two, three off seasons, I, I really feel like we're starting to get a heavy dose of, of Aaron's personality off the field. This is him, right? He's going to do what he wants to do. He's going to march at the beat of his own drum. He's not going to put the opinions of fans or, you know, organizations uh, needs slash wants ahead of what he wants to do. He's going to move at his own pace. When he gets to things, he's going to get to things. And, you know, it is what it is. I think if you're Joe Douglas, that you can't just look at Rodgers on the field, look at the stats, look at the MVPs. Look at him working with Nathaniel Hackett. You have to take into consideration that, okay, if, you, if you're if you in play for Rodgers and you're going to put him above every other quarterback option this offseason, whether it's a guy like Derek Carr or a pending free agent like Jimmy G or maybe somebody that's still on, a, still on an NFL roster, this is the game that you have to play. This is... There, there are hurdles here with Rodgers that you, you're just going to have to deal with. So if this is what JD and the Jets are signing up for, then it is what it is at the end of the day. I, I do want to say this, though. <laughs> right when Rodgers was about to sign off, he was asked about the Raiders, the Titans, the Jets. And he said, 18 years, 18 years, that's always going to be home, alluding to the Green Bay Packers. Now, you could kind of take that as, you know, from either side, either side of the spectrum. First side, I'm not leaving Green Bay. Like, that is my, that's always going to be my, be my home. Or almost like a ref, like he's reflecting. You know, like he's reflecting like, man, Green Bay was awesome run, 18 years of my life. I'm always going to love it there. It's always going to be home. Time for chapter two. So, <laughs> of course, we get like a cool little cliffhanger here from Rogers. But, um, yeah, apparently, according to him, the darkness retreat will start later on in the week. Didn't really give a specific day. Um, so it's not, I mean, obviously it wasn't yesterday. It's not going to be today or tomorrow. Um, so just a waiting game. It's just a waiting game. Now, luckily, Derek Carr was released. He's not going to be traded. So I want the Jets to aggressively uh, aggressively pursue Carr. That's my personal opinion, though. I want, I mean, we look at the pressure. We look at this Jets team. We know how desperately they need a, need a quarterback, right? A veteran, an experienced veteran quarterback. Keep taking swings. Keep taking swings until you land one. Don't save all your power, all your resources, all your energy for one player. Yeah, would it be nice? Sure, right? Everybody knows it would be great to land Aaron Rodgers. But at the same time, there's negatives. And like we said before, there are hurdles that you have to clear. Um, and, you know, even hurdles that Rodgers is going to have to clear, whether it's him retiring, him wanting to stick with Green Bay. A lot of questions have to be answered first before Rodgers can wear green and white. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, go Jets.